Welcome everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Vanessa and I'm a career coach for Kinuso School. I work one-on-one -on -one with high school students in grades 10, 11, and 12, primarily on their self-reflection and interest, career exploration, high school course selection, and their transition planning into the post-secondary or the workforce. I'm always happy to engage with parents and encourage your participation in this process. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime with questions or concerns. My contact information will be provided at the end of this presentation. This presentation should help you make informed decisions when selecting high school courses. By the end, you should have a general understanding of a few high school reminders, graduation requirements to earn high school diploma or a high school certificate of achievement, high school course pathways and how to make a plan, and different choices when transitioning from high school. Then you will be ready to complete your course selection in my blueprint. High school consists of two semesters where students will take five courses each semester. In order for them to graduate with a high school diploma, students must meet certain graduation requirements and pass classes to achieve high school credits. To earn a high school diploma, students must receive a minimum of 100 credits. Within those 100 credits, these requirements must be completed. Physical Education 10, COM, which stands for Career and Life Management, 20-level Math and Science, 30-level English and Social Studies, 10 credits in option-type courses, such as Career and Technology Studies or Fine Art courses, and 10 credits in additional 30-level courses. For your convenience, there is a course selection information package for this presentation that can be downloaded from the Kinuso School website under the Course Selection 2020-2021 Notice. You can refer to pages 1 and 2 for this checklist and more information on graduation requirements from Alberta Education. To earn a Certificate of Achievement, students must receive a minimum of 80 credits. Within those 80 credits, these requirements must be completed. English 20-2 or 30-4, Math 10-3 or 20-4, Science 14 or 20-4, Social Studies 10-2 or 20-4, Physical Education 10, COM, which stands for Career and Life Management, five credits in 30 level occupational courses, five credits in work experience 35. Should you wish to receive additional information on the high school certificate graduation requirements, please do not hesitate to contact me. Again, my contact information will be presented at the end of this presentation. You may be wondering what a credit is. Each high school course is given a credit value. You must achieve at least 50% in each course to earn the credit. Most core courses, such as science, English, social studies, and math, are worth five credits. Most career and technology studies, or CTS courses, are completed in modules worth one credit each and are often set up to complete five modules in a semester. Therefore, with a full course load of five classes per semester, students should be able to earn 50 credits per year. Let's talk about high school core courses and the different pathways that are available to students. Similar to junior high, there are four disciplines of core courses. English, Social Studies, Math, and Science. You have a choice of which stream you take in each discipline. The first two digits, or the numbers, refer to the year of high school. 10 refers to grade 10, 20 refers to grade 11, 30 refers to grade 12. The hyphenated, or the dash number, refers to the pathway of the program. For example, 
English Gen Dash 1 refers to a grade 10 English class, and the Dash 1 represents the root of the program. Why are there different pathways, and what do they mean for your future? Different pathways are required to get into university programs, college programs, or even a trades apprenticeship. The following slides will show you course sequence diagrams for English, Social Studies, Math, and Science. You can also refer to page 3 of the course selection information package for those diagrams. Let's start with the English course sequence. For example, let's say your teacher has recommended you for English 10-2. You can take English 10-2 in grade 10, 20-2 in grade 11, and 30-2 in grade 12. This meets the graduation requirement as well as sets you up for potentially going to a college program. If by chance you find out that the university program you want to attend requires you to have English 30-1, then the pathways show you how you can start in 10-2, develop your skills, gain a strong foundation, grow your confidence, then make the change into a dash one stream in either grade 11 or grade 12. The social studies course sequence is much the same as the English one we just described. For example, let's say your teacher has recommended you for social studies 10-1. You can take English 10-1 in grade 10, 20-1 in grade 11, and 30-1 in grade 12. This meets the graduation requirement as well as sets you up for potentially a college or university program. With math, there are a few differences. We offer what is called Math 15, which is essentially a prep course for Math 10C. Math 10C must be taken and passed before students can choose a Dash 1 or a Dash 2 stream. Math Dash 1 is recommended for students interested in pursuing a career in math, science, or engineering fields. Math Dash 2 is recommended for business or the arts. Math also has a Dash 3 stream, which is recommended by the Alberta Apprenticeship and industry training for trades careers. Science also has some differences. Students have to complete Science 10 before branching out into any of the 20s. In most cases, completing two 30-level sciences is recommended for students planning on going to college or university. Taking all three sciences is only necessary for certain programs. There is also Science 14 and 24 route, which will allow students to meet the graduation requirement, but will not set them up for access to college or university. Students are required to complete a minimum of 10 option type courses for credits. We have various option courses for students to select from. If students enjoy any of the fine arts or phys ed classes, there are excellent selections to boost their academic average. These courses, taken to the 30 level, can be used to get them into college or university programs. It is important to note that option classes differ from year to year. This is primarily due to the different resources the school has access to and the interest of the students. As such, there is no guarantee a selected option class will be offered next year. However, we encourage students to explore and select options they may like. This will help us find the proper resources for you. There are a few other specialized options I wanted to give you more information on. The first one is called ADLC, which stands for Alberta Distance Learning Center. Hosted through the CUNUSO Outreach with support of a teacher and a supervisor, ADLC courses are online and self-directed studies. Students also have access to an online teacher for additional support. Dual credit are courses where students can earn high school credits and post-secondary credits simultaneously. 
work experience gives the students the ability to earn up to 15 high school credits by working 375 hours with an employer. Typically, it works out to be one credit for every 25 hours worked. It can be difficult to do during school hours, except for students who are working with a teacher or in another school. However, any students working a part-time job after school or weekends is encouraged to speak with a career coach for assistance with registration so they can earn the extra credit for a job they're already doing. The RAP program, standing for Registered, Registered Apprenticeship Program. Begin your apprenticeship training while in high school. Earn both hours towards your training and high school credit. You can earn up to 40 high school RAP credits. Students or parents interested in RAP should contact the career coach for assistance with registration and schedule planning. Let's talk about what comes after high school. Some students might be interested in going into the workplace, an apprenticeship or trades program, a college or university programs. It's important to think about different pathways students might want to take after high school while planning and selecting high school courses, because some pathways require specific courses and averages. I'm going to go through the general requirements for each of these pathways, just to give you a sense for your planning and course selection. The first pathway after high school we might be thinking of is the university program. University is where you earn a bachelor's degree, master's degree, or PhD. Typically, requirements for university acceptance is a high school diploma with an English 30-1 and four other 30-level courses. However, it's important to note that program entrance requirements vary and many are subject to a competitive average, sometimes as high as 85 or 95%. For example, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing, a Bachelor of Science, or an Engineering degree. Some of you might be interested in a college program. College is where you earn certificates, diplomas, or can complete one or two years of university studies before transferring to a university. Typical requirements for college programs are a high school diploma, English 30-1 or 30-2, and other 30 level courses as required. Program entrance requirements vary and should always be reviewed annually for changes. Maybe you're interested in an apprenticeship or a trades program. This type of career is very popular for our hands-on learners and those who do well with one-on-one -on -one or small group instruction. There are over 50 designated skilled trades careers in Alberta, including electrician, hairstylist, baker, and plumber. Trade entrance recommended requirements are a high school diploma, English 30-2, Math 30-3, Science at a 20 or 30 level. That includes science, physics, or chemistry courses. Please refer to page 7 of the course selection information package for more information. Finally, students can join the workforce and get an entry-level full-time job. Some examples of careers obtainable with a high school diploma are truck driver, retail sales, customer service representative. Some workplaces may require alternative or in-house training, such as the RCMP, military, flight attendant, or a bank customer representative. We understand that sometimes post-secondary is expensive. The career coach can also help you with resources that are available to help you pay for your education, including scholarships and student loans. For example, the Rutherford Scholarship is available to all Auburn students. They can earn money by attaining an average of 75% or more in high school. You can earn up to $400 in grade 10, $800 in grade 11, and $1,300 in grade 12 for a total of $2,500. 
So long as you're accepted into a full-time college or university program, you can apply for the Rutherford Scholarship money that you have earned through those high school years. The, there are also a few local scholarships that you can apply for. Please talk to your career coach to receive the applications and to receive more information on those. There are also other national scholarship portals such as the website listed. One thing you can do to improve your chances of earning a scholarship is to volunteer. You can volunteer in a school, in the community, or through extracurricular activities. All right, so here we are ready for course selection. You can use the My Blueprint course selection guide available for download on the Kinuso School website for step-by-step -step instructions to submit your course selection. You can also refer to the course selection information package for assistance. This will give you the high school graduation requirements, the course sequence diagrams that we discussed previously, as well as the RAP or the Registered Apprenticeship Program recommended entrance requirements. Please contact me with any questions or for support with your online course selection. Thank you for watching.